Hey, this is Time Bomb, and if it's your first time checking out the channel, hit that subscribe button to catch all the updates. Thanks a lot for joining me here today. I'm gonna do a breakdown on a, on a very simple tip, so remember to give this video a like. If you didn't know about this, or if you're down with this video, just give it a like. It helps out the channel a bunch. So, something I wanna ask is, did you know this simple tip in Madden to help you? I know, I don't know if you've felt this before, sometimes you'll be running, scrambling outside with your QB, and you accidentally throw the ball when you mean to slide with your QB. Maybe you were just trying to go slide with your QB. Maybe you were trying to uh, throw a pass and you actually got past the line of scrimmage and it still gives you the throw animation. Um, and then you might throw a pick or uh, you could get a, a over the line uh, pe uh, penalty, sorry. Like, uh, yeah, so the, why can't I remember the name of when the QB crosses the line of scrimmage and throws the ball, which is in, Illegal forward pass, there we go. And so what you can do though, so you don't have to press a button to uh, to to throw the ball is here, like I'm gonna show my QB, I've got him in uh, passing play, I'm gonna run outside with Young, and then what I do is I press the left trigger and the right stick in. You press in on the right stick and your, your QB, you see here, he's just gonna drop to the ground. Again, I'm running outside with him, QB, right stick in, he's dropping to the ground like that. So you can, if you're now aware of that, when you're running outside and you're like, oh, okay, is there a pass? No, okay, gotta go down and slide. You see, it goes right into the slide animation when you're sprinting as well, when you're going forward in that direction. So that just gives you another option. Now, you gotta remember though, um, that if you're just pressing the right stick in, that it's just gonna throw the ball away. So be aware of that because you might not wanna take a, uh, an intentional grounding penalty. I don't know. I guess it doesn't really matter either way. You're gonna, if you go down at that spot or take the intentional grounding, but you really want to avoid the hit sticks really, or uh, just those other things. So there's just a little quick little tip I wanted to break down that you could help you out. You know, now maybe if you just don't want to avoid it, taking those hits when you're running past, just press the button there. And then um, it is actually just behind the line of scrimmage as I learned running with the QB <laughs> here actually. So you can only do it behind the line of scrimmage. That's interesting. I've never heard anyone really talk about that before, but so that's the way you can do it to avoid those. Because, uh, you know, if you know the hit's coming, it does make sense that they give you a control so that you can get away without actually having to uh, to take those hits, right? Because they should give you that option. And, and as well, right? like if you're just in the standstill and you press it, your QB just falls to the ground just like that. So that's basically it for this video. Remember to give it a like. That's my simple tip. Let me know, did you know? that simple tip about Madden, that simple control that often gets overlooked and I don't see people talk about. So I just wanted to break that down today in the video. Thanks a lot for checking it out. I'm in Time Bomb. You guys are awesome. I will catch you later. Boom, boom.